Welcome back to Simright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. So in this class, I'll be teaching you how to make um, this beautiful structured exaggerated sleeve you are seeing right there on the thumbnail and on the dress form. So right here, you can actually see the dress is actually looking beautiful. And wonderful as you can see so we have the sleeve right here and this is the curvy part of the sleeve and this is the structured part of the sleeve so I'll be showing you how to go about uh, the sewing of this sleeve so you can make it smaller you can make it bigger as you follow this tutorial so if this is what you want to learn in this class please stay tuned to the end of this tutorial thank you tutorial. so in this class I'll be teaching you how to so this particular sleeve you are seeing right there on the thumbnail is actually an exaggerated sleeve and it looks so beautiful you can use it for any dress of your choice so here i'm making use of one yard of ankara okay i will be using one yard to make the both sleeves okay so here i have folded my the parts like about half a yard i just folded because i want to use this um particular one to make the pattern for one sleeve so all you need to do is to just fold a little just like i've done now just fold a little okay so i just did it now so this little part i folded i'm going to mark out my base line okay so this is my sleeve head line so i'll mark it out my sleeve head, head line so once i've done that this becomes the beginning of the sleeve so now I've marked it out. Next, I will go in uh, by two inches. Okay, from here I'll go in by two inches. I'll mark. Once I've marked there, I'll now come from that point, mark another eight inches. Okay. So once I've marked two inches and eight inches, I'll come from the tip of this sleeve. I'm going to mark two and a half inches. So if I mark this two and a half inches, I'll just make a square, a square line on the two and a half inches and the two inches. So I've made that square line. Can you see? So now if, I've, if you are done with that, from this two and a half inches, you are going to measure the length of the sleeve. So the length of the sleeve here, I'm working with 11 inches. So that's 11 inches from that point. I'll go ahead and mark the 11 inches. So once I've marked the 11 inches, I'll just make a straight line on the base line. So on this base line I made now, I'm going to take the measurement of what I have from the 8 inches to the 2 inches, which will give me 10 inches, okay? So make sure this, your 2 inches, is very accurate, okay? So I'll just adjust it a little because I see is a little bit above okay so now i have it two inches and from here i have it eight inches so it's correct so from here to here now i have 10 inches can you see so that 10 inches i'll go to the sleeve hem i'll measure the 10 inches again and i'm going to mark so once i've marked it i'll just go ahead and rule a straight line from the sleeve hem connecting the sleeve head so once I've done that, I want to make a curve to this sleeve. So I'll just go from here. I'll go up by three inches. So that three inches, I'll just use my hand and make that curve. You are seeing right there as a design to that sleeve. So this is the pattern for the sleeve. And this sleeve, I will use it uh, to cut out the lining. Okay. So to cut out this sleeve, I'll just go ahead and cut up to the 2 inches. Then I'll cut up to the 2 inches and cut out this, okay? So you are going to see why we have to make this. Can you see that? So once I've done that, I'll quickly come to the center sleeve and make a notch, okay? So I'm done with that. Next, I'll just go ahead and cut my sleeve. To that eight inches then I will now go ahead and cut my sleeve straight and I will now come over here 
I'll just leave him. I'll follow the curvy, curvy part of the sleeve. So can you see that? So make sure you cut it very well so you'll be able to sew it very well too. So this is what we have on the sleeve. So the next thing I will do, if you want to still make use of this fabric, okay, as your lining, just go ahead and lay this, what you have cut on top of it this way. So I just want to identify the front and the back. So I think what, what I have here is the front. So I'm still looking at it to be sure. So what I have here is the back. So here is my front and what I have here is the back. So I'll just go ahead and lay right side to right side on top of it. So I'm just cutting it out now. So because I want to use that as my lining. So I just come to the squared edge and I'm going to cut out. So at any point in time of this sleeve, make sure you put your notch at the center sleeve. This is very important for the joining of this sleeve. So I'm going to interface this. I'm going to interface uh, uh, this with my peplum stay. But for now, I don't have a peplum stay. I'll be using a pepper stay. But I will advise you use a peplum stay. Okay, so if you're using a peplum stay, just interface the fabric part and turn it with the lining but because i'm working with a light paper stay i'm going to interface the both of them now so i'll quickly go to the ironing table and interface it then i'll be back to show you how to sew this. i'm done um, interfacing the both of them like i said i'm using my paper stay to do this <coughs> excuse me so now that is it so to sew this sleeve, I'll just go ahead and turn right side to right side. So I'll go to my machine now and I'm going to stitch all the way from here, this way, place my notches, okay? So I'll do that now, then I'll bring it back to show you what next. All right, people, so I'm done sewing the sleeve, as you can see. So I'll just go ahead and make a um, little notches okay i'll just make notches around so i'll be able to you know turn this sleeve to the right side okay so i'll just then um, go ahead and turn the sleeve to the right side so i'll turn the first side that way then I'll also go back here and turn the other one. That way. So once I've turned the sleeve to the right side, then I will go ahead and bring it, iron it out. So I'll just go to my ironing table now to iron out the edges to the front, okay? I bring turning it as you can see and I've ironed it so the sleeve is actually looking nice and beautiful so I use this part to be the front and this will be the lining so the first thing you are going to do now if this is the lining or the inner side just simply do this okay match them together so I'll go to the machine now and sew a stress stitch so if you have sewn that stress stitch I'll advise you to weave it okay that's if you have a weaving machine just go ahead and weave it immediately so let me do that now i am um, i've uh, sewn it although i did not weave it so the next thing i'll do that part i told you to notch just bring in these um midpoints okay so i'm just trying to get the midpoint then i'll match it this midpoint to midpoint can you see and I'll go back to the machine and sew from here to the end. Let it now. Can you see? So if you sew it, this is how it, it will look like. So I'll now go ahead and do what? And fold it in. That's I'm turning it to the right side. That's what I mean, actually. So 
I'll turn it to the right side. So once you have turned it to the right side, this is what the sleeve looks like. Okay, so you can see it's actually looking like what we have on the thumbnail. So you will not bring in your dress. Okay, you're not bringing your dress. I'll just bring a dress now to the most. I've uh, made the bodies where I want to attach this sleeve just to show you. So I just have to make it a half or quarter of it for back and front. Okay, so I'm going to attach this sleeve on this. So I'll first of all sew my shoulder seam line. So you know the normal way you make your dress. Okay, if you are making it with lining, you will first of all turn everything with lining back and front then close up your side the normal way so let me stitch here and show you so now i've sewn that part of the sleeve and what you will do now is to open up the armhole part so this is it the neckline and this is the armhole so this particular sleeve after you have turned with your lining you are going to spread this part okay the part that is on the seam line you spread it and sew it i'm assuming i've turned with lining so that's why i'm keeping it very close to the neckline so you can just step out a little bit by um half an inch okay so i just step down a little bit by half an inch then i'm going to sew straight on it this way so what i will do is to make it easy to make it very very easy just go ahead and do what from that half an inch on the neckline just make a straight line okay note that the sleeve is at 11 inches so i'll mark uh, 11 take away three inches this is the part we took away one two three so i'll mark it at eight inches then i'll still do the same here and mark at eight inches so I still rule the guiding line. I'm ruling a guiding line where the sleeve is going to be positioned. So just mark it straight. The way I'm marking it this way, from the neckline on the front, mark straight to that eight inches. So I'll just go back to the machine now. This is what I'm going to do. So you spread out your dress before ever you close the sides. If you don't do it this way, you'll not be able to achieve this sleeve. So I'll just go ahead and do what? Sew from here now to the end. Then sew from here to the end. So I'll just do that, okay? I'll sew around my stitches this way. So if you can hold it with your pin, you can do that. Let me do that now. Stretched and have sewn okay so you can see my stitches inside of the dress so that's how it will look inside your dress so that's why i asked you to turn with your lining completely okay so you don't need to start turning it with the sleeve so this is the dress now so all i will do now is to go over and close my side can you see it's easy to go over and close this side so i'm going to close this side now then I'll place this sleeve on the dress form for you to see the final outlook. Of course, you have seen it at the beginning. So thank you very much for coming to this tutorial once again. If you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe. Turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends. Drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Thank you once again. See you in the next class. Bye.